Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Not a particularly strong uh, greed mode run last time. So I think we do a greed mode run again. And I think we play as Lilith because this has been an annoying character from the perspective of um, not being able to accomplish that like Mega Satan win. So maybe we can get some renewed confidence if we play as Lilith on greed mode. De definitively in her element, if you will. That's probably worth it, right? Get a starter deck for the cost. Ooh, we also got a hanged man out of it, which does allow us to do that and get a free key, making it even more worth it, although still debatable whether or not it was worth it in the first place, I suppose. We get Headless Baby, which gives us a second familiar cat. What are you doing? Hello, my cat friends. But also, you know, legally speaking, my property. Um, what are you doing up here? What are you playing with? Sticking your hand under my computer tower? Okay. It's not really a hand, it's more so a paw, but uh, I guess I, I'll be content with that either way. Okay, how are we going to do this? I'm going to not focus on this cat. Instead, I'm going to focus on the task at hand, which is not only beating greed mode, but donating as much money as we conceivably can in the process. That was not a very good start. Um, but I do expect to take damage early. That's kind of like my philosophy in greed mode, is the early waves are some of the most difficult. So... If we can get through that and gain a little bit of disproportionate momentum, then that would be awesome for us. And obviously, like, I'm enjoying having a couple of extra familiars. You know, we're getting a little bit of extra creep here. Um, the incubuddies buddies are definitely, like, the big deal here, but a little bit of thicker creep line. That doesn't bother us too much. It's not the first time we've had, uh, you know, Box of Friends Headless Baby. It's solid enough. I do, uh, I have said, and I do still believe, that it's not really that amazing to have, like, you know, Five sister Maggies or five brother Bobbies, uh, even though, hey, what are you doing, the uh, freaking dingo cat? Stop uh, ripping up the pieces of paper on my desk for no reason. Those could be important documents. They're not, but they could have been one day in the future. Oh, that was not good damage. Um, we'll stay in this room because we want to get the maximum possible bonus out of here, and we'll uh, do our best not to die, which as of right now isn't working out that well, but there is like a half-price HP upgrade in our, uh, in our shop, right? So... I would endeavor to purchase this if we live. If we don't live, I'll be disappointed, but we'll restart this run nonetheless. I mean, it's not like we're, we're throwing away, like, a, an easy win or anything like that. The only reason this run would be an easy win right now is because we're, you know, Lilith, who has a disproportionate advantage in greed mode anyway. These have been some tricky dodges, because we've had to make ourselves, um, you know, stay in a position where when the haunt came up here, it wouldn't hit us on the way, because oh, that doesn't make it... Uh, you know, that, that counts as damage, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. We're fine. We're fine. Just keep yourself as safe as is possible, and then, of course, walk backwards into the bullet, and then die and restart the run. Well, at least this way I can look at the seed. 7MW48BZT. Not a good start there. It, it's inverted, though. I think the later you die... That's good. Uh, ooh, credit card. We don't need free deals with the devil, so... Um, the credit card actually seems like really useful for our first free items here. Okay, first off, we have a golden key. So let's grab all this. Bombs are key. That's not necessarily great. I see chaos, and I will do something about this chaos. Um, hmm, let me think here. I don't really want to use credit card to get these items. Does that make sense? I think I want to get Chaos. Which obviously gives us uh, some interesting stuff here right off the bat. And then, um, I think I want to use Credit Card after we get to the point where um, we can re-roll these. Because as of right now, man, Celtic Cross is okay. I don't really, what do I want? Rainbow Baby, Latch Key? I mean, they're not bad, but it's just not stuff that I'm particularly interested in. So, I, I think it would be better for us if maybe we just wait for our reroll. And I'm actually going to hit the button, as ridiculous as this sounds. We got two cents now. We should be able to get one reroll. I'm not going to be too picky, but we got we to gotta try. There we go. Bob's brain, Guppy's head. Is this good enough? We definitely want this as well. Let's not be silly. I mean, the, the free Guppy item is pretty solid, but... I just don't know if it's good enough. 
Um, you know what? I think we press the button again. As ridiculous as this seems, I I stick I cling to my belief here that we're gonna be able to get something. What? It's the same items. That we're gonna be able to get something incredible. This is good enough. We credit card and we get it all for free. Cricket's head, so huge. Book of Secrets, not that incredible. Obviously. Um, Bob's brain, acceptable. Guppy's head, at least gives us the Guppy item, but this was mostly about Cricket's head. Now, does this, if we bomb it, will it re-roll the other items on the pedestals? No, but it has created new items for us. Including a Guppy's collar. And we definitely have a chance to get to 15 cents, especially considering... Oh, that's, it's pretty good, actually. Especially considering we're gonna have some bombs to go along with it. Like, with, with uh, Burnt Penny, we're gonna be able to pick up enough bombs to maybe give us a chance at, uh, you know, blowing our way into some more money. Probably not, you know, the best phrasing on that, but you get the idea. Um, so I think that this is great. And if we can get two Guppy items here, I'm not gonna say we're sitting pretty, but we've made pretty good progress. Even though we invested, I don't know, more spirit hearts than we probably should have into uh, into making this happen in the first place. It does still seem to be the right idea. We got like our own little version of the brains challenge here. Which is scary, because we're going to have so many bombs that they're going to be you know difficult to dodge. But at the same time, we're going to have so many bombs that it's going to be difficult for the enemies to dodge them as well. Which is kind of the idea, I suppose. So I don't want to buy Guppy's Collar right away. Even though the shop will restock, I think it makes more sense to just do our waves kind of the old-fashioned way here. And Monstro stood, like, literally zero chance. Next wave was two enemies standing right next to me. I take a, a small issue with that, but that's okay. It's definitely a strong run, and that early credit card has been really, really outrageously good for us. So many bombs as well. At least we can get a lot of rerolls out of it if we want to. Or at least as many as the, the you know, reroll machine will let us get. We also have a free item from the Deal with the Devil. Notice I didn't say Deal with the Devil item, because it's a Chaos Deal with the Devil, which means it could be anything here. Uh, it's not free either, now that I look at it and actually realize. Um, I think we want Fate's Reward. Now, obviously this puts us in a terrible position from an HP standpoint. However, we do have Deal with the Devil precedent now. And uh, in addition to deal with the devil precedence, we'll have um, another familiar. Now, is there anything else we can really do here? I mean, I would love to buy a spirit heart. If they would just make one for sale. And they did, so I will purchase it. <laughs> I think that was borderline essential. But I do think that this is a great situation that we find ourselves in right now. I'm excited. And I think uh, I think you should be too. This is a pretty good start. Weird start. And we're very low on HP, but also pretty good. So let's check out our item room. Sack of pennies. Maybe that gives us proportionally more money. Cuba meat definitely works with, um, with Box of Friends. Uh, we will open a golden chest. Kidney stone. I don't dislike it. But do I like it enough... To, to take it in this situation? That's a great question. I don't know. Seems like it could be okay. Uh, seven cent able, I don't want. I'd probably just... Ah, uh, maybe I'd... It's not gonna be good? I don't even know what that is. I mean, we've obviously seen it before or unlocked it at least, but uh, I, I don't recall what it is, so... A little strange, uh, but that's alright. You know, that's part of the fun. Hopefully. Hopefully it's not part of the, the terror of this run. Um, Bob's brain did double, even though I don't think it was around when I doubled. So that's actually kind of reassuring to hear. Um, and we should probably, I guess, use money to reroll and then bombs when we were a little low on money. Because, I, I mean, we're going to have, like, unlimited bombs, basically. We don't have unlimited bombs, but functionally we have unlimited bombs. Um... What we are more concerned about, though, is blowing up the machine and making it useless when it could still provide us with a pretty good service, so... Um, I'm, I'm feeling pretty solid right now. As long as we can keep our HP up there, being able to have a fourth level Meat Boy, uh, and as well as maybe like a second level Meat Boy to back us up, uh, is, is pretty sweet. That's excellent. Probably our best damage dealer. I don't know if we're going to get another charge here. Kind of hard to get everything lined up appropriately, but okay. 
Meat Boy's aggro is going to be a recurring sore spot for us, I'm sure, but... Multiple Fates Rewards is pretty good as well. Alright, let's finish off our last wave here. I don't think we should use Box of Friends here. I think we're already more than strong enough. So instead, uh, just keep the charge so you can use it immediately on the next floor. We need to kill one of these guys. Freaking Bob's brain has taken a hundred years to choose whether or not to fire. Alright, we still got it done. We can take... Well, no, we can't take any deals unless there's HP inherent in them. Uh, this is weird. What would you do here? I would... I'm gonna take the HP, man. It did not kill us. And red hearts are probably more sustainable in the long term. Uh, okay, I think we buy the crown. See what's going on. Crown of Light. The untainted gain power. I also bought Tammy's head accidentally. Oh, this is like if you haven't been hit on the room, you get super high damage or something. Yeah, this is acceptable. I mean, I really wish I hadn't bought Tammy's head. What do you think about Kidney Stone? Ah, fuck it. Let's buy it. <laughs> I would have preferred to get Little Steven, but we didn't know that was going to be there. Okay, down to the next floor. Uh, I mean, it's a huge damage bonus if we haven't been hit, right? So that is... Oh, that was a penny. Uh, that's extremely good. As long as we don't get hit. It's another familiar. It's okay. Uh, the mind, at least it gives us access to secret rooms. And let's be honest. We got more bombs than we know what to do with. So there's there's some value here. Um, I, I obviously don't want to do that. And we have two guppy items. It would be awesome to get the third. That's kidney stone right there. Teleported to our deal with the devil. I think it's worth taking. It's a risk, but I think it's worth taking. Um, although it gave no, it's not a risk because it gave us HP back. It's weird. Um, let's let's check out our. It's a bed. We can't sleep in it though. Uh, okay. Well, I don't know. Let's get started, <laughs> shall we? I've I've spent a lot of time him and hawing uh, over how this run looks right now. Uh, I mean, it looks good as long as we have enough HP to to live our lives here. Uh, and our damage is going to be stellar, right? And this, like, the kidney stone bonus that we get is disgusting. I think we also want charge babies so we can get, like, the maximum number of familiars on the screen at one time. What, I stepped on creep? And ruined my damage bonus? We could step on the button and then try to... Oh, you know, I probably hit myself with Bob's brain. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It's our final wave. Uh, we are going to stick this one out, so... Even though we've lost our damage bonus, I'm going to... Not worry about uh, leaving. Because we've already got such a nice trail of familiars following us around here. Kidney Stone is active right off the bat. That's pretty much the most you could hope for in this life. Man, I hate that there are... A lot of these skulls and eyes around at every available opportunity. We're gonna fucking die again. No, we're not. I believe. I can't see the shots. Holy Christ, we've made it. Now we get to fight the bloat. Basically the same boss over again, but a more difficult version thereof. I'm trapped. We've still gotta see this guy. If I can't see him, I don't know when the when the shots are going to be coming. For God's sake, don't jump. Oh my God, we lived. Okay, what do you do here? Fight the boss? Fight the boss? I mean, I don't know. I've already seen the deal with the devil. I don't want it. So for the first time, I'm not going to press the button. Okay, cheap battery. Cheap, eight, well, regular price HP, which is acceptable for me. We have now become Guppy as well. Um, this is a hugely important moment for us. You think we want technology? I know it sounds ridiculous. Oh my god, the steam sale. I think we might want technology to make it easier to hit things. I think it's good. I think it's good. We don't need the bomb. Let's be realistic here. And we don't need to fight the enemies. We're doing, we're doing fine. Head down to the next floor. Should be blowing up the skulls probably. I think we've pulled ourselves out of the, the misery here. Hopefully. Now that we've got Guppy, technology, Torn Photo is helpful. Leech is helpful. Oh my god. What's going on in this room? That's Torn Photo, I guess. That's an incredible rate of fire right there. 
Yeah. No, I'm into this. As always, it's still going to be a little annoying to shoot and hit enemies, but we're going to be able to hit them pretty easily as a result of uh, the flies and just the sheer number of, uh, of lasers we'll have on the screen after a relatively short amount of time here, as you can tell. Yeah, this is becoming pretty sweet. As long as we can stack up our HP, this, this feels fairly unlosable. But I've, I've said that before, and I've, I've been wrong about it before, without a doubt. Oh, we already finished this. Okay. Next set of enemies. I don't even know what I'm shooting at, but I just shoot non-stop because it sounds like, you know, a stock ticker going off or something. This is going to be a great situation for us. Oh my god, we're fighting Mom's Heart. I should not have used the, um... Oh, there's still enemies left? I should not have used our uh, our final charge there, because we'd prefer to use it on our uh, on our next wave, obviously. Don't get hit. Just don't get hit. As long as you don't get hit, there you go. You know, nothing wrong with that. Picked up a lump of coal. May or may not matter to you at all. Let's go into our uh, our shop and hopefully buy... No. I'm not going to let you do that. Hopefully buy an incredible amount of HP for Leech to work on in the future. Uh, HP? Infamy is probably worth it. What is this? I can't see it. X-ray goggles? Probably not worth it. We don't have a reroll though, so what do you take instead? I mean, I guess we take X-ray goggles at half price. Dead bird seems okay for greed mode. More HP seems very important. Um... And let's just uh, check our secret room. Three more keys. Okay, well, we still have a little bit left over here. Like, we, we've still got time to stack up some money. And as long as we can maintain our survival, that's, that's the most important thing for us here by far. All right, we can fly. Why not pick these up? I don't see a tinted rock. And I don't think I'm mistaken. Mom's wig, good enough. Broken mirror, um, wow. It, it certainly puts some uh, variance on our shots, that's for sure. We have one more floor after this with which we can get some money, so kind of feel like maybe it's in our best interest to spend on this floor. In particular, like as much HP as possible seems good. We'll take that spirit heart when we leave, I guess. All right, so I don't even know what's going... Like, Broken Mirror, My Reflection, whatever you like to call it. Um, it's created a very strange situation with our shots, but I think it's good to have this kind of deviation on it so that we can actually have more coverage instead of such a narrow hitbox on our shots. Um, but it looks ridiculous. It looks like it would be bad. But I think it may actually be awesome. So I'm basically just charting a course around the outside of the map reason we're doing so is uh, we want to make sure we don't get hit by Bob's brain. Might as well pop it right away. What does it matter to us? Now, when we can really focus on an enemy, and this is why I'm excited for the Ultra Greed fight, when we can focus on an enemy, we take him out no problem. It's not even, like, a contest. As you can, We just killed, like, uh, four different versions of Sloth and Pestilence, like, nearly instantly. Perthro is good. Yera is better. I think, as strange as that sounds, because I can now Yera the coins, and there's at least a, a dime in there and a nickel, so uh, that basically allows us to get, if not 99 cents, at least a very high amount of money. Which, if I could buy a few more HP upgrades, I'd still be interested in doing so. I mean, what are we going to get on the next floor? Probably like 30, 40 cents, something like that. Um, I mean, Guppy's hairball is basically worthless. But we'll buy it anyway, just to see what's after it. Contract from below, or... Oh, that's not Contract from below. It's missing page two, you dummy! Black Candle maybe will be important, but I think that's where we tap out, right about there. Um, It's fair to say we don't really need any more bombs, probably. So we got one more floor of, like, actual combat, and then we move on to the Ultra Greed fight, which I am excited for at this point. Nine lives, no. Fate, probably worth it. Pandora's box, no. 
So I think that's going to do it. Let's save the rest of our money. Because, like, if we're looking at this honestly, it should be a pretty easy finish for us. Um, against Ultra Greed. We should have a, a realistic chance to beat Ultra Greed, have a lot of money left over, and, you know, live our lives. But, we will be worse against Ultra Greed as a result of the fact that we won't have as reliable of charges. But, maybe Battery Baby, especially like a doubled Battery Baby, will mitigate those concerns somewhat. Alright, already on the last wave here. I hope I'm still audible. <laughs> I, I think I am. This episode's not sponsored by Audible, making it the one show on the internet that isn't, but... Uh, If there's anything wrong with that, maybe that, that day will come. Where's the other stain? There we go. Maybe we'll try to buy more HP depending on what's in here. Do we really need any of this? I mean, maybe Guardian Angel because it'll get doubled, but I don't think it's worth it. Let's head down to our next floor. Actually, first we'll go to our secret room, obviously. And there's nothing of value in there for us. Okay, so this will be another one where we're going to be trying to donate like 99 cents. And I think we got a pretty good chance to do so. We're like 480, 490 or something right now. So we're very close to, you know, being at the point where we're going to cross the halfway point. It should happen here if we win. And we should win. Alright, hopefully we can find a way to get more battery charges. If not, we've still got all these delicious guppy flies working out well for us here. I don't really care about anything but hearts. We have, like, such a unique variety of, like, piercing shot. Hearts are gonna be annoying. Other coins, I, I don't really care about. This is definitely the fastest I think I've killed Ultra Greed ever. Don't let him take our coins and heal. Bombs are annoying, but... It's not like he's going to get any healing out of them anyway. We're about 80% of the way done. And, man, that, like, technology torn photo pickup. Who would have thought? Okay, don't let him get HP. He's going to get two. That's not that amazing. And the bombs are not that amazing for him either. He'll probably be dead, like, right here as he summons more enemies. And we're safe. That was absurdly quick. All right, so we got our donation machine right next to the chest come on you so and so at least let us get to 500 just to say fudge you the the haters who thought it would never be possible no milestone for 500 man when it rains it pours in greed mode that's for sure i can just wedge myself in here beautiful uh okay i mean outside chance at nearly 600 Never mind. <laughs> I don't believe in the concept of jinxing, but uh, they got me that time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.